Hey everybody, uh, I got another one here for you. This is a 2006 Dyna Super Glide Custom. Uh, right from the factory, I'll give you a little bit of history on this. Right from, not the factory, but uh, the store where this was bought back in the day. Uh, the previous owner uh, basically put a 124 kit in a 88 cubic inch uh, motor. So they did all the machining and everything and uh, bike was running supposedly fine. Um, the owner ran into some hard times and had to sell it. So the new owner is Dan Mahal. Um, he only got about 200k on it and uh, he was recommended to, to bring the bike to me to have some tuning done on it and uh, see what else maybe we could do to it. So um, right off the bat I told him the back in the day when they built the motor the throttle body was only a 50 mil, so you're really starved with the bike. So I told him I gave him a couple of options uh, on throttle bodies, but he still wanted to keep the, uh, the bike reliable. So I changed the intake manifold and uh, put a billet uh, 58 millimeter throttle body on it with the high flow injectors. And when it came around to start putting it all together, and uh, when I took it apart, I noticed that the intake manifold on this, uh, somebody had machined uh, spacers on it just to make, uh, because the cylinders are so far apart because it's a big form, big stroke motor, that uh, the intake manifold was, was sloppy inside. So now with the 58 mil throttle body, I had to do the same thing. So I had to make up some spacers for that, put it together, got the throttle body on it, and uh, hooked it up to Super Tuner and uh, basically made a map for it, put it into the bike, and fired it up and ran the bike on the dyno for next to no time whatsoever, and uh, I was hearing some knocking coming out of it. So I called Dan up and I told him, I said, you know, you need to come down and have a listen to this before I start doing anything. So Dan come down, he listened to it, and sure enough, the front cylinder was knocking. <clears throat> so he authorized me to pull it apart. When I pulled it apart, there was seven valve clearance on the front and five valve on the rear. So um, when Dan had purchased the bike, the previous owner gave him the next size pistons for it. <clears throat> so I ended up pouring it out 10 valve and had to machine the piston skirts to accommodate the stroke because it was never done. They would have hit the connecting rods. When I was going to put this thing together, I noticed that this, the, the skirts on the cylinders, especially the rear one, was, me, was also machined incorrectly. So if you assembled the front cylinder first and went to drop the rear cylinder on, uh, with the piston in the lower location, the cylinder would have hit the piston and that would explain the, the notch that was in the piston from way back when. So I'll pull it all apart again and machine the rear cylinder skirt so the clearances would not hit the piston. Put it all back together and uh, Dan also wanted me to port the cylinder heads. So the Screaming Eagle heads that were on this are basically like a uh, 110 head or an MVA head. <clears throat> so I ported the heads on it, turned out really well, uh, put the bike together again and uh, I can't tell you what's in it on the bottom end, like cam wise or lifter wise, I know it's got a set of uh, uh, evolution push rods in it, uh, just to accommodate the longer length of the cylinders, the stock uh, Harley ones or the Screaming Eagle ones are too short. So he had to run with Evo push rods in it. And uh, basically, it's all back together now, and uh, we're gonna fire it up, and hopefully get her back on the dyno, uh, maybe this week, if not, Maybe on the weekend, who knows, I'll be like, like working overtime. But anyway, here's the first startup for Dan. And uh, he also had a hard problem with hard starting on this. I noticed one of the ACRs was burnt. So let's see how it starts right now with two new ACRs in it. Don't mind the rubber hose. 
hose on the exhaust uh, that was left on there for when it was on the dyno last time. get this thing tuned and broken in a little bit uh, you better hold on because she's going to be a little bit of a rocket so here you go super glide custom 124 cubic inch with a set of old shot heads and uh, we'll get her tuned next week